nine-year-old Camagello Sapodi Malinga is heading home from school. Once he gets there, he unpacks his school bag and starts doing his homework. Camagello is one of many school children living in impoverished communities around South Africa who've been affected by power cuts and rising electricity costs. But an innovative new solar-powered school bag is helping pupils get their homework done after school. Known as repurposed school bags, they have built-in solar technology that charges during the day as the pupil walks to school. The solar panel lid is inserted inside the front pocket of the bag. Once the pupil gets home, he takes it out and screws it back onto a solar jar that can last up to 12 hours. It helps me a lot when there is no electricity because I take the lamp and use the lighting in order to read and do my homework. Africa's most advanced economy is facing its worst electricity crisis since 2008. Its citizens are subjected to frequent controlled blackouts, which South African utility ESCOM implements to prevent the grid from collapsing. Although the percentage of households with electricity in cities has increased over the years, many families in poor neighbourhoods and rural communities are still not connected to the grid. Wood, charcoal and candles offer cheaper alternatives. We have, a little we have a little brother, so when Kamogelo was still busy with his homework, he would want to hold the candle. So now this lamp has helped us a lot, as we don't have a problem even if he touches it. It won't burn him or something. The bags are created from recycled plastic bags at the repurposed school bags factory on the outskirts of Johannesburg. The plastic sheets are cleaned and processed to make them malleable. The company gets corporate sponsors to buy school bags in bulk and then distribute them for free to students. The bags are worth about $20 each. They're happy to have a, a, a school bag. I remember with the first handover, one of the kids cried and it was like, oh, this is a bit emotional, you know. And it was purely because she was so happy. And it's not often that they also get gifts because this is pretty much a gift that's been given to them. The bags are also made of retro-reflective material which helps children become more visible on roads as they walk to school. Most importantly, what's helping a lot is the solar lantern. So the parents are coming in saying, my child's able to do work, and teachers are coming back in saying, homework is now being done. You know? So I think we're affecting all, all spheres of a, child's, of a child's life. Repurpose School Bags plans to expand to other countries in Africa where there's little access to electricity among poorer communities. Clementine Logan, CCTV.